You're about to learn four lazy ways to make a lot of money online that will allow you to sleep in peace and make money passively. Welcome to the Peak Performance Channel, the place where you come to be inspired to create a more prosperous future. Making money is often portrayed as difficult and a time-consuming pursuit, but there are actually a number of lazy ways to make money online. With just a little effort, you could start earning passive income and enjoying the financial freedom that comes with it. Here are four lazy ways to make money online. Number four, affiliate marketing. You need to build and run niche blog websites that generate affiliate income. An example of this would be a blog dedicated to gardening tips, like how to grow the biggest and juiciest tomatoes, what type of fertilizer to use for tulips, etc. By becoming an expert on one subject matter and building trust with your audience through your content, you're able to recommend products and services that will enhance their experience. For example, the best fertilizer to use to make tulips grow big and tall is Frankie's Ferocious Fertilizer. The blog post would mention the fertilizer and include a link for the reader to click on that would lead them to Amazon or another site where they can purchase it. However, this link is not an average one. This is called an affiliate link, meaning that if the reader clicks on the link and buys a fertilizer advertised, you receive a small commission for the purchase. You can use affiliate marketing as a primary or secondary source of income. Number three, the next passive income stream is real estate. And there are two types of real estate investments that practically anyone can start with a small amount of money. The first type of real estate investment I'll discuss is crowdsourcing. This method connects investors with property owners through the internet. The best thing about crowdsourcing is that you don't need a lot of money to start investing. Fundrise lets you finance projects that may involve anything from single-family homes to whole apartment complexes or various commercial real estate options. To get started with real estate crowdfunding, all you have to do is sign up for a site like Fundrise, choose your investments and start investing. It's that simple. Plus, it's completely hands-off and a great way to let your money work for you 24-7. The second type of real estate investment was buying REITs, or Real Estate Investment Trusts. A REIT is a company that owns and operates income-producing real estate. So when you buy shares of a REIT, you're essentially investing in all of the underlying real estate that they own. REITs can own a variety of properties such as shopping centres, hospitals, office buildings and cellular towers. So how does REIT pay you? Very similarly to dividend-paying stocks. It pays a monthly or quarterly dividend, plus just like stocks, they are bought and sold on the stock market. And as such, they are extremely easy to invest in. The process is first, log into your brokerage account. Then find the name of the REIT you want to invest in and buy shares. After that point, you'll start receiving dividend paychecks from REIT on a regular basis. This is usually monthly or quarterly. Here's a quick reminder before we continue, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so. That means that YouTube sends you more of these kinds of videos and it helps our channel as well. Number two. Now let's get back to the video and we're going to build passive income streams that are scalable. What I mean by that is that, for example, going and starting a pressure washing business is not really scalable or passive because in this situation, you're having to trade your time for money. You have to physically go out to properties and do work before you can get paid. Now you can make it more scalable and passive by hiring people to pressure wash for you. And that's exactly what Ryan did for this example. Ryan had a business where he would hire high school kids to go to youth soccer games and record them for the parents. The parents would then pay Ryan for a high quality video of their child playing. This whole process was passive for Ryan because he didn't have to do anything except receive payments. He found some high school kids who were willing to go and record soccer games for him so that he wouldn't have to be at every single game. Another example could be from selling courses, writing ebooks, starting a YouTube channel, or anything else that will create passive income for you. This means that when you're not working, whether you're asleep or watching Netflix or hanging out with friends, you're still making money because these passive income streams are always working for you in the background. I recommend that most people should find passive income streams that have a low overhead. For example, you could start an Etsy print-on-demand shop or sell courses on Skillshare. These can both be started with little to no money and are very easily scalable and passive. Number one, 
So the first source of income was the many paychecks that businesses would send on a daily basis. Imagine a company like Coca-Cola that's been around for more than 100 years now was making so much money that they want to start rewarding people for buying their stock. So say you go and buy shares of Coca-Cola stock at $50 a share or whatever it's currently trading at. Coca-Cola will start sending you what we call many paychecks. Some people might know them as just being called dividends. And this is how it works. Many companies that trade stocks will pay their shareholders many paychecks or dividends just for owning shares of stock. Large companies like Apple, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo and hundreds of America's largest companies all pay their shareholders micro paychecks. The question then becomes, how can you start making this income stream work for you? How can you set it up so that when you go to sleep at night, money's still coming in? Well, to get started, you'll need a brokerage account. I recommend going with Webull, Fidelity, Vanguard or M1 Finance. Of these four options, Webull is probably the most user-friendly if you're new to buying stock. After your account is open, you'll research which companies currently pay dividends. I recommend looking specifically for Dividend Kings. These are stocks that have increased their dividend payments every year for 50 years or more. And after you've decided which Dividend King stocks you want to invest in, go into your brokerage account and purchase them. Now, the great thing about brokers like Webull is that you can buy fractional shares of stocks, meaning that if you want to start any paychecks from a company like Apple, but don't have the full $150 to spend on one share, you could buy just a portion of that $150 share for as little as $1. After you purchase the stock, that's all you have to do. Wait patiently. Every month or quarter when the stock provides dividends, you'll receive earnings directly into your brokerage account, which can be used for anything. And surprisingly, some people live off only these dividend payouts and never have to work. Keep in mind that it takes time to build up this type of portfolio, but many people have already done so. So there you have it, four lazy ways to make money online. And while none of these methods will make you rich overnight, if done correctly, they can all help you achieve financial success with minimal effort required on your part. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and start earning. Thank you for being all ears throughout the entire video. To create is effort, to copy is genius, Albert Einstein. And if you want to expand your income by building an online income, feel free to contact me so we'll get things moving right away. Remember, if you want to change your life, let's make a change together. You need to make a change.